This whole meeting today will be focused around homelessness. The forum started off with the candidates' knowledge and experience about homelessness. Ben Stuckert spoke about a time in his life when he only had enough money to either pay for rent or buy food. Found the food bank that the city of Oakland ran and uh, went and got four bags of groceries in 1995. And that actually provided me a bridge and allowed me to not be homeless and not end up on the streets. And that frames every decision I make because sometimes when you give those essential items, that's not enabling. His opponent, Nadine Woodward, spoke of her conversations with volunteers who help people experiencing homelessness. She disagreed with Stucker. We need to meet the basic needs of those who need that. But we need to get beyond just meeting basic needs and just enabling people. Then the candidates gave their take on why there is homelessness in Spokane. At least 20 different reasons listed. Um, lack of income, family conflicts. And the people, boots on the ground, who are doing this every single day, they say the vast majority of our homeless are mentally ill, have a mental illness or an addiction issue. And I totally agree that the majority of people in the criminal justice system do have a mental health issue. That is. But that's the people in the criminal justice system. That is not the only family conflict, and lack of income. Woodward does not believe more 24-7 low barrier shelters are the answer. I don't think we should be invested in anything before we know exactly what we can and cannot do as a city. Stuckert and Brian Beggs argued the city does need shelters. Both Woodward and Beggs said they would like to see more police walking the downtown streets. But Beggs' opponent, Wendell, said this won't help police. We have got criminals out there, and if you're on foot, what do you do with them? You need your patrol car. Questions the candidates could not get to today will have their responses posted on the Spokane Homeless Coalition Facebook page. Amanda Rowley, Crime 2 News.